This is a story of forbidden love brought on by grief, a touch of madness, and extreme loneliness in the West. In a quest in Red Dead Redemption, titled Who Are You to Judge? By heading to the northwest section of Gaptooth Ridge, there's a town of Rathskeller Fork. As we pass through the town and somehow resist the urge to play some horseshoe, there is a man named Jeb Blankership that is kneeling down beside himself, weeping and moaning for help. Why won't nobody help me? If you choose to <laughs> approach the man, he says, Hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeb's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeb's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Now, poor Jeb, he seems a little bit touched. He refers to himself in the third person, and he's asked us to find his love, which is located in Tumbleweed. Now, we head south to Tumbleweed, but it's unfortunately an occupied town. So as we approach Tumbleweed, we actually find out that there's a captured sheriff which starts uh, a random encounter where you have to clear the town out. Before we do that, I just want to head into the church. One of the best things in Red Dead Redemption I find is a, a small Easter egg located inside. So if you head into the church and you can't really see what's on the pulpit, but illuminating the pulpit uh, reveals the writing that says the devil has got into that beast. Now, a lot of people have speculated that it's the dark horse that you can receive um, for getting the lowest amount of fame. It's not really resolved officially, as far as I can tell. Maybe it had something to do with the undead nightmare, but it's something creepy for a ghost town. All the same. So we head into the town. And are immediately fired upon some of the people that are firing from the second story of the building and we see a hanging man which I assumed was the sheriff to be honest and try and snipe down what I, I believe is the sheriff but it looks like we are too late to save whomever that was that was hanging by their neck. So we proceed towards the body and start clearing out the town. Now this tumbleweed is known to one, be haunted, and two, to obviously have a host of bandits, and it does replenish over time. It is a radiant quest where bandits will occupy it at some time. And if you actually clear out tumbleweed before starting the quest with Jeb, you just have to ride there and straight back. You don't have to do this part. But then as we head towards the body, I realize it's not the sheriff, it's some poor soul. And so we free the sheriff, Thanks, partner. This gang just won't get the message. Could sure use a hand clearing them out. Come on, the whole place is still chock full of the sons of bitches. There's only a couple left. Keep shooting. Christ alive. So before we continue with the quest for Jeb, it seems prudent that we clear out the town just uh, to help the sheriff out. Why not? Be on the good side of the law. Come on now. head into the saloon where one guy kind of caught me off guard there it is all right that looks like everyone in town let's head up to the mansion and finish this my apologies mister you ain't no use back there they got the high ground and plenty of cover up at the house be careful. Of course, our work's not really ever done here. So I snipe some people up at the mansion, which we have to clear. Someone made an omelet out of them bird's eggs of yours, boy? Think on your last words. They ain't far away. Head down 
to the basement, which as I round the first corner in the mansion towards the basement, I got blindsided. Gotta tell you, you're gonna be hurt soon. And I'm gonna make you suck. This would be a fair fight if you could shoot straight. But the second guy wasn't as lucky. After which, you will be thanked by the sheriff for all I of your hard work. I appreciate all the help, partner. It won't be forgotten. I promise you that. And can continue on with your quest. So marked on the map, close to the saloon that we're at, there is actually a stable with a horse. And so as we approach closer, we see a woman that is grooming a horse. Clearly didn't have any interest in helping us out in that firefight. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gon' made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on then. All right, follow me. So our new friend, Anne, is her name. Riding yeah. Lucy is going to follow us back to Rathskella Fork. Now, you can't just leave her there and she'll meet you, but there is interesting dialogue that opens up. You should have seen the look on your face, mister. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Ha! So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. Well, ain't you the sweetest thing? I'm just like you. A real sweetheart. I gotta ask, mister, didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Hey there, Lucy. You excited to go back to your special man? Miss, are you speaking of that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Mister, I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. After being spoken down to by a complete stranger for a long time, even though she's caretaking for Lucy, you head towards Rathskeller Fork to reunite Jeb and his long lost love. Let's go! And what do you think his Come reaction on. would be? Exactly what you think his reaction is going to be. You ain't so tough in person, Mr. Marshall. Lucy! I can't believe it! Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> now, everybody seems to be happy with this transaction. Anne goes off to hang out in the barn. If you save, uh, she Bye actually now. will stay there. Man, and Lucy Jeb goes on to, up, to groom Lucy in his love and will thank you. Can a guy get a little privacy? However, uh, on the official wiki, it says that if you 
decide to take Lucy from Jeb, which is kind of mean in and of itself, that you will get a bounty, which has happened to myself. But I also read that if you hog tie Anne and kill her, that she will become a horse herself. Seriously. And that you can skin her like a horse and get the horse's skin. I found that so strange. So I took her out of town, lost the bounty. Ain't you got no more mercy missions to be attended to? Put her on the train tracks. I don't think you want to see what these two got planned. Then I got distracted because, you know, seeing like two packs of wolves come from a woman and then a dude who tried to help the woman was just payment in and of itself. And finally, it was kind of hard. I was like, I didn't want to kill her, but I ended up putting a bullet in Anne's head. She didn't turn into a horse. I looted a couple of bucks off her, but that's Someone about might it. As well have this, now you might think though, that's the end to that the tragic tale there's more to the story if you head to the tumbleweed cemetery which we just cleared out there's a grave marked grace blankenship who died in 1907 and is outlived by loving husband jeb uh you know most assuredly this is the resting place of his wife uh, his late wife which has obviously drove him to such loneliness that he's taken up loving a horse also after some time in a later edition of the newspaper it is reported that jeb has married his love the horse and that no friends or family members attended the ceremony but this is another one of those bizarre stories which probably has some grounding in in truth you know and does remark about a, a family member and the goats and, and this is known to happen in the west now jeb obviously flaunting it i think it's because he's a little touched he didn't know whether to hide it or not i like the fact that the rockstar developers went so far as to to put some very confronting material it, it's funny yeah it's superficially i mean it's amazing but also confronting in the fact that what you're dealing with is something that's the harsh reality of uh the frontier the new world so with that <sighs> incredible think piece i'm gonna ride off into the sunset New adventures await, and I shall see you next time.